Our first guest tonight is an Emmy Award-winning actor you know best as Will Truman from NBC's Will and Grace, which returns for its second revival season this Thursday at 9 p.m. Let's take a look. Grace, is Will here? <laughs> I'll get him. <laughs> hey, what's up? You are not going to believe this. I just saw my boobs walking down Madison Avenue. <clears throat> That's why the little label on the pill bottle says do not mix with alcohol. Please welcome back to the show, Eric McCormick, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back. Nice to be back. I have to say that really speaks to uh, the fact that you work on a classic show with very little context. That was an extremely funny clip. Thank you. Well, yeah. yeah. Uh, all you have to do is talk about Karen's boobs. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, exactly. Uh, and everybody's paying attention. <laughs> well, last time you were here, uh, you had just done a mini reunion, sort of small special, uh, Will and Grace. This was before the, the revival season. It was the only thing we were going to do. We were going to do this, this 10 minute video to encourage people to vote for Hillary. Clearly, that worked a treat. <laughs> yeah. Um, you struck out hard. People still blame you guys for I, it. Yeah. I think, so. <laughs> I think so. She's not speaking to it. Uh, yeah. Uh, she, that's why she did Murphy's, the Murphy show. But uh, <laughs> she. Uh, but but then um, the NBC saw it and said, "We got to have this." So the show became much more political than it ever was. It was always a very LGBTQ, a very cultural show, but it was never political. And so now we we just did a show where. Uh, Jack and Will go to uh, Texas and experience all of that homophobia. Meanwhile, Karen tags along with us to see the portion of the wall that she sponsored. <laughs> so we, we get to do that. There you go. You get to yeah. do that. Exactly. No. Um, yeah, obviously, uh, people over the years lined up to be guest stars for the show. And in the revival, I think people were, of course, excited to be a part of it again. Are there dream, would there be a dream guest for you to have on the show? I've, I've been pitching that Will has a secret Canadian lover for the entire... Yeah. For the enti and then it we reveal in the, in the season finale that it's Justin Trudeau. That would be great. I think, yeah. I think he'd be great. <laughs> he'd be great. He would be, he'd, be great. he'd be down for it. Yeah. Uh, you are Canadian yourself. Yes, I am. How do you feel the perception of Canada has changed in the last couple of years? Oh, it's... Uh, there was a time when, of course, Canadians were just cute. Aren't they cute? Yeah, yeah. With their snow and their funny way of talking. And now it's kind of like, you're from Canada? Like, can we hang out? Uh, yeah. We should be friends. We should be best friends. But do you think, uh, do you think people here in the state underestimate how easy it would be to just pack up and, and live in Canada? Well, that was the thing. Everybody was like, well, if he gets in, I'm, I'm moving to Canada. And I'm like, you know, it's kind of a hard reservation to get, <laughs> yeah. right? Like, you can't just show up. Uh, it's a country. Um, you also, uh, you have another show, Travelers, that you film in Vancouver. Yes. Um, and it's interesting because at the same time in your career, you're doing uh, Will and Gaze, which obviously is a comedy that you have some comfort with. And another show that's incredibly dark and very different. Is it, is, is it easy to do both at the same time? Well, I come from rep theater where you do a comedy in the afternoon and, and a tragedy at night. So I was really lucky that Netflix was, I was already doing the first season of Travelers, which is a very dark sci-fi show. Two seasons available right now. Go home and watch it on Netflix. <laughs> but, thank you. But, uh, but we just, we just shot the, the third in the spring and I had four days to become gay again. Uh, which, <laughs> it actually, it doesn't take that long. It's <laughs> yeah, really, it's, it's, it's you actually, can turn it around even faster. It's about 10 yeah. minutes. Okay, about, good, good. Anybody can do it. Oh, that's great. Um, so, but it, which was amazing. I literally had four days off, and then we were back on that set. So it's been a luxury year. Your, uh, your son is 16? He is. Is he uh, excited? Is Will and Grace something that excites him? Is he excited about your career? Is he impressed with you? <laughs> well, he, you know, when, when we went off the air the first time, uh, he was three. Right. So gay sitcoms were not high on the, <laughs> yeah. on the priority list. Though he loved SpongeBob SquarePants, which I think is <laughs> pretty close. Pretty close, it's yeah. Pretty close. It's, it's the, ballpark, certainly. It's, it's yeah. the Frasier of cartoons, <laughs> yeah. I think. Um, but now he, I see he came to the set the other day and I thought he's going to love this. Now he'll appreciate this with the cameras and Jim Burroughs directing. And I think we got a scene in and he was like, 
I got homework to do, Dad. <laughs> yeah, I was exactly. like, it's 4.30. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I got a lot. I got a lot of uh, chemistry. Yeah, yeah, chemistry. <laughs> He was, uh, we were talking backstage, he was only a few months old when we first met when you hosted SNL. That's right. That's uh, right. Which is 16 which, years ago. Which you're about to do. I'm about to which do, uh, yeah, exciting. not this thing, but next week. And, um, yeah, that was... Uh, one, of, um, one of the problems, and, and looking back at photos of us, this is one of the issues of me hosting, is I was mostly just the other guy in sketches. Here I am, I am your lawyer. Um, looking in the sketch. Yeah, yeah, I am. Uh, okay. And, like, I, I do not, corner. I look like a very inexpensive lawyer uh, <laughs> who maybe just finished law school. And then this, sketch. I was in this sketch a lot. There I am right there. There's me. Uh, there's you, uh, Maya Dratch, uh, Forte yeah. Polar. Um, I was at a lot of dinner parties in my time at SNL. Yeah. Yeah. But that was, I think it was your first year, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it was first or I second year. Yeah. Fred, well, right? no, yeah, what did it You and Fred and I think Will Forte. Yeah. You, know, was, uh, um, you were very kind to us then, and uh, it's always great to see you here. Thank you so much you. for being back. I really appreciate it.